You are listening to North American Public Radio. Refugees in Southeast Asia are so numerous as to be beyond help. Zone within 150 miles of the former U.S. border to satisfy the guerrilla group's demand, which was unavailable when something might have still been done. The oceans are rising and fast. Whether this can come in time to prepare for the melt that this summer's expected refugee. Do you think I can get 20 bucks? Rivermouth, Oregon. Michael Shields. Shields. The last polar bear living in the wild died in Siberia this week, according to Itar Tass, the Russian news agency. The bear, which had been tranquilized and relocated... the news at five o'clock. Tension mounts in the Far East. The peace talks between India. Hey! Man, you thought you got away! <laughs> Nobody gets away, dude! <laughs> Nobody! <laughs> and today, the Dalai Lama broadcast a plea for sanity in the crisis, saying the danger to civilization was at an all-time high, that human needs are one and must be addressed by a single nation, the nation of human cool weather in the west is the envy of folks on the rest of the continent where only tropical storms have provided relief from three weeks of temperatures in the upper 90s. The president campaigning among troops in the Arctic said polar ports are crucial to North American security and that Eskimo terrorists would suffer the... I'm 
sorry I missed the funeral. Come with me. Dad's in here. There was a, an accident. This boy died. Dad, look who's here. Russell. Thank you for coming. We'll be having dinner here tomorrow. I'll expect you? Yeah, I, uh, I'm really gonna have to get out of town quick. I, I have a professor covering my courses. But it's been so long. This is Mr. Barnes, the lawyer for the estate. How do you do? Russell Marsh. My condolences. Thank you. I'm sure the two of you have a lot to discuss. Russell, we'll talk later. Okay. Perhaps we can meet at my office in a few days. Uh, I'd like to get out of town as quickly as possible. Well, this isn't the sort of thing that you can do over the phone. Well, fine, let's just take care of it now. Actually, there's the auction at the end of the week. Auction? For what? We're selling your grandmother's house. <laughs> well, your sister should have told you. That no, she didn't. didn't. So, what else does the will say? The will divides the proceeds from the sale equally between the two of you. <sighs> That's the way my mom wanted it? Your mother hoped that by giving you this responsibility, she would attempt to mend the divide between you and your family. And that was my mom for you. The eternal optimist. Listen, Mr. Barnes, I would really just like to get everything taken care of as quickly as possible. Is there any way we could just hold the auction tomorrow? I'm afraid that the secretary of the Preservation Society must be there. OK, fine. Well, then I'd like the keys to the house. I wouldn't recommend going over there right now. The fumigators have the whole place closed up. Nobody gets in until after the auction. Excuse us, please.
my husband, Jake. Hello. Brother. Nice to meet you. I'm back. Look at you. It's so good to see you. Even if this is what it took. Oh. Danny, I'm sorry I didn't make it. Mike, it's, it's okay. I, I know you wanted to be there. Hey, Russ. Hey. Well, we should, uh, we should go. Pretty tired. Let you guys catch up. You have to go. Um, you know what? I have a okay. camera. Yes, you know it's coming. You've seen the album. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let me get a picture of you two. Okay. Come on, closer. Closer. Right. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Ross. Yes, maybe you want to take some pictures while you're here. Um, are you sure you don't want to stay at the house? No, no, I'll be fine. I'm... I already booked into the motel, so I need some time. Okay, well, just give me a call tomorrow. Come by around 5. Okay. okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye, Mike. Bye. Bye. Ross, hey. You look different. Yeah, I feel different. Danny tells me you were, um, you were divorced. Jess and I got married and moved to Salt Lake. I don't think this fell apart, though, you know? Salt Lake City, Utah. I have a daughter. Chelsea. She's nine. Wow. She's beautiful. Hey, hey Gilbert, can we get a couple beers? Uh, just, uh, just one. So you towed that wreck today, huh? Yeah. You know, I was there. I saw that kid. The kid from the Delta. I'm into town. The first thing I do is see an accident. I had that kid's head in my hand. He knew me, too, you know. He knew exactly who I was. I walked right out of that into my mom's funeral. Great to be back home. What are things like with your dad? Dad, are you serious? It's just gotten worse. I mean, he's so formal. I mean, he's, he's crazy. I mean, he's obviously gone off the deep end. I mean, he's wearing a purple jumpsuit at my mom's wake. I mean... You know what I was thinking about is Trow Hill. <laughs> we used to take Julie and uh, Mary up there. Julie Bronson, sure. <laughs> like, I didn't forget anything, man. I didn't forget anything. And the first thing I did when I came here, I went to the net shed. Well, you know, things are a lot different now. We made a lot of plans there together. Yeah, when I was there, I saw... I don't know what I saw, actually. Oh, were you... Were you faking it with Julian? No, I wasn't. You know, I was just figuring things out, you know. I guess we never talked about it, you know? It's a long time ago. You still have those scars?
Hello. Yeah. Hey, Russ. I just uh, can't see how you're doing. I was, um, it was, it was good to see you. I'm good. I'm good. It was good to see you. I don't know if, if maybe you know tomorrow you want to get together, have a drink or something. Ten, ten thirty. You know, I may, I may have to take off for a bit. You know, the, the tow truck thing. Okay. Cool. Cool. I'll talk to you later. Bye. You're the nephew. No, my father is. Listen, my sister said she was doing better. Can we get her out of here? Go pull her chart for you. The last few months, she seems to be getting more excitable. Don't visit very often, do you? No. Well, you'll find her very... Difficult to talk to. Josie. Your nephew's here. I'm Josie. It's me, your grandnephew, Russell. R Russell? Oh, give me a kiss. Oh, look how you've grown. How you doing? They don't listen here. No one listens. Oh, it's been a long time. You need to stay away. How's your mother? Um, she's, she's fine. She left something for you in case she dies. Something at the mansion. And it's just for you, so don't let those salty bitches get their hands on it. What is it? It's in the basement. It's in the furnace. <coughs> no, nurse! Nurse! Uh, they won't let me talk much. I... Who won't let you talk? kinte. <laughs> Jake and Dad, how you got the job as chair? Um, there's not really much to tell, you know. Um, the position came up, and uh, colleagues submitted my name, and um, the department uh, voted for me by a majority. Well, the, the man they expected it to go to won the Nobel Prize. Oh no, it was that the Pulitzer won the Pulitzer. But uh, yeah, he he hadn't written very much since then, so. You're writing a book on the Old West, aren't you? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, you, there's, there's more roles, if you okay. like. Okay. So, how's the, uh, how's the church? How's the gay life treating you, Russell? It's my life. Is it satisfying? Are you fulfilled? What do you want to know? You want to know what we do? Russ, Danny, just please, just stay, stay out of this. Look, I came back for Danny's sake and for my mom. That's all. Danny, these are sensational roles. Mm. They're store-bought. Yes, but they're wild-caught. You're drunk. Yes, I am. I am. I am. But 
Apparently that is the only way that I can get to a dinner with you. But that does not change the fact that I am gay. And it doesn't change the fact that you've spent the last 10 years pitching the same tired Joseph Smith frontier horse shit to anyone who'll buy it because apparently nobody knows anything anymore. What is a real church, Russell? I don't know. The old ones have always been with us. The Christians 2,000 years ago drawing a fish for their sign. And 10,000 years before that in Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia. In the All span of a single so lifetime, I mean, suddenly you himself. have so, yeah, planting and seed and harvesting, yeah, buying sure, and selling not? land, accounting. Did Christ or Moses or Moses? Would it be possible just for Buddha one night to go without knowledge? a fucking sermon? All we want is what, 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 what are you talking about? What does that mean? What does that mean, we want? We just wish you could raise a family. Why? I wasn't raised in one. Russell. Think of the legacy you could leave. Uh, you, if you want some grandchildren, you should set these two guys on that because I am out of the running. You know, you made me what I am. We've been trying to have kids for a long time now. I don't have anything to thank you for. Everything I have today comes from the distance that I put between myself and this family. I'm sorry. What I said down there, I had no idea. I know. I hadn't told you. That was rough, wasn't it? Yeah, no. I guess there's no bringing you two together. No. I'm gonna take off tomorrow. Oh, come on. What did you expect? This isn't my life anymore. Well, your life includes being the chair of a department of the finest university in the Northwest. Now, I'm no college professor like you, but it sounds to me like you're the boss and you could do whatever you want. But I guess you are doing whatever you want. I mean, God forbid you'd see something through or give somebody a second chance. <sighs> I stayed, Russell. I was here the whole time. I held her when she was sick. I was here the whole time. I don't understand. How That's you... right. You don't understand. And I don't understand you. Nobody understands you, Russell. We love you, but nobody understands you.
felt bad. I mean, I had no idea they were trying to have kids. Hey, look at this. I've seen that, man. What are you talking about? He's spewing out my grandparents' place. My grandfather, he was in the Pacific. Yeah? He brought it back. It's some kind of an idol or part of an idol. Guess I where know. I found it? My motel room this morning. I'm probably making them for tourists. Look at this. this it's, it's not writing. It's not a language. I know. It's Dagon. Naturally, your father's church. Yeah. Let me see. It was a cargo cult in the South Sea Islands. Once everybody in Rivermouth had one of these. The islanders used them for human sacrifice to bring up the old ones from under the sea. That's, that's what it is. I, yeah, what's my, what's my second guess? Gilbert. Yeah, where's this guy? Remember Ray Roebuck? Yeah. You got any fresh pretzels? Just tell the story, please. I'm dying. I'm dying here. You and Ray. Summer of 1967. Ray and I were personating about a mile off the Pedro Bank. Yeah, and uh, you've been tripping your asses off for uh, about five days. All right, so we've been taking some drugs. All right, so you guys are an ass, and what happens? You and Ray in the boat, very romantic. You know how when you're personating, you pick up all kinds of things that you're not actually trying to catch? Yes. Well, one night, you pick up this thing in the net. Looked like a giant baby. I'm cutting you off. What? You talk too much. Finish the story. So what's the connection between this? Hey, 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 I'm sorry. Just finish the story. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. Russ, this is my friend Susan. Hi. <laughs> Mike, you know Susan. Heard a lot about you. Oh, really? Good things, I hope. Mm. Uh, we ran into a guy who broke down by the bridge. Uh, I said we were headed over here if he called. I think it's his radiator. Are you still working? Yeah. So we're gonna swim tomorrow. Ralph oh. fixed the filter. Oh, you should come. <laughs> Bring your brother here. Oh, Russ doesn't swim. He's afraid. Oh, thank you. Just let everyone know. I appreciate that. Doesn't swim. You don't swim. You grew up on an island, you don't swim. It's only an island if you look at it from the ocean's perspective. Mm. Well, go fix a car, but please, you know, give me a call, leave a message. Oh, I have to run, too, so I just want to make sure we're on for tomorrow at noon. Yes, I, yes, for the, how many okay, times great. I will be there. Bye. You ready? Call Bye. me, call me. We should come over tomorrow. Nice to have a barbecue. Just that time for everyone. Yeah, it is. Apparently that's the way people deal with their grief around here, just eat barbecue. Hmm. Russ is the Dean of Cascadia. No, no. Russ is the lowly chair of the history department at Cascadia. What about you? What do you do? <laughs> I work in the sea lion caves. Yeah. <laughs> oh, in the sea lion caves. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you don't remember me from school, do you? I don't think so. No? So you staying around for the May Festival? I don't think so. I really liked it. Yeah? Yeah. Thanks. My... My husband has a book about these. Really? Yeah. A book? What book? Oh, I wouldn't know. Just some old history book. It's very old. Mm. <laughs> you should come check it out sometime. Actually, um, you should stop by and see me at work this week, and then we could just run to my house, grab some lunch, take a look at that old book. <laughs> my husband's in a, in a wheelchair, so he doesn't get much company. You guys would get along great, though. Watches the History Channel all the time. Big fan. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, you want me to meet you at work, or...? I'd like to see this book. Great. It's a date. It's a date. Who are you? 
Joe, relax. Just, just take it easy. Take it easy. Give me the rock. Give me the rock. Fine. Come on. You want to know what this is? You want some answers? I'll give you answers. Fine. Get over to the liquor store and get me a bottle and a six pack. Okay, okay. Meet me at the dock. your booze. Alright. They said they'd never die. My grandmother told me. She told me there was an island covered with a ruined city out there in the middle of the Pacific. And boats from Rivermouth put in there. Captain Marsh said, you had to see how beautiful it was, how rich. They dropped their nets into the water and the fish would just swim towards them. They held their rituals in the net sheds, in human things. And they're meeting in there again now. There were people. There were fucking people, man. Elizabeth Parnell, Frank Oakes, Robert Camberwell. You know who they were? Do you give a shit? These were the kids that disappeared. They were my friends. Unit one, unit one. A small fire just broke out at North Lane. I've seen what went on in those houses, those big houses up there on Gable at night, man. When my great uncle tried to stop them, they came out of the sea and killed lots of people. You know what a shoggoth is? Car. No. Get in the car. No. Get in the car. No. What's your name? Julia. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Russell Marsh. Take a look at my driver's license. Right there. I'm staying right down the road, lamp ladder in room 212. Call your parents. You want to call your parents? They'll tell you that you're getting a ride with the most notorious homosexual in the county. Get in the car. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to wait till the next stranger comes into town, going to write a little note for him on his receipt? Huh? Get in the damn car. Say, who are they? The church? I don't know. Nobody walks. They all stay in their cars. 
And I work the night shift anyway, so I never see any of them. Most nights I take the cliffside bus and there's never even anybody on it. <laughs> I don't even know what these people do for money. So what about all the people that go missing? You know, you're from here. You could probably tell me more than I could tell you. Watch out for deer. <laughs> you stay here. Hey, you know, this is really dangerous. Hey, we really should go. It's really dangerous. We could get hit by a car. Come on, my, par my parents are really worried about me. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, please. There's nothing else you want to tell me? Listen, Julia. Right here. All right, listen, I know you're scared to talk. Thanks for the ride. <sighs> Julia, wait, just wait. Julia, wait. a secret, but it would be revealed that you were the king. And that's when everything would change. The world would change. Do you mind telling me how you know that? Relax. I used to take care of your mom. She told me all kinds of stories. She was very sweet. It's a fairy tale. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. You can still go see some bears. Don't worry. I'll protect you. Come on. Wow. Yeah, that, that's something you don't see every day. Take your head off if they have the chance. They're so beautiful. <laughs> so, you wanna go back to the house? Grab some lunch? Take a look at that old book. Yeah, let's do that. Baby. Mm -hmm. Honey, this is for 
Russell. Hey, Russell. Hi, nice to meet you. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Yeah, um, Susan was telling me you have a, a book. Oh, come on. on. <laughs> come on. What the fuck? Come on! <laughs> I found this uh, object and, uh... Hey, make yourself at home, man. Uh, okay. Listen, Susan, it's, uh... Getting late. I'm gonna have to go into town and see the lawyers. Mm -hmm. I could just see that book of your husband's. That would be great. Yeah. I need your help with something. What do you need? Come here. I want you to give me a baby. Ralph's infertile. I mean, you don't even have to have sex. Susan, I can't. I can't. Uh... Hey, uh, Ralph. Um, listen, Susan told me you had a, uh, a book. I, I, I found this uh, object the other day, and um... I'll go make lunch. Have a seat, buddy. She's gonna have lunch ready in a minute. Game's on. Yeah, she she was telling me that you had a, an old book or something. Uh huh. Um... Uh huh. Oh, fuck, you son of a bitch. Listen, I mean, I I don't have to take up a lot of your time if you just you know. Oh, that's cool. I can go get it if you. No, 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 that's all right, man. I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Okay. Here's my story, man. A year ago, I'm uh, working some construction down in the marshlands, fucking around on the second story on a beam, and, uh, and I fell, and a piece of rebar, exposed rebar, right through my testicles, like a pair of marshmallows. Put me in this chair. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I can, I can still make a call, but no one's on the line, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, anyway, let me see I'll get my legs back, but... Can you help me? Oh, yeah, sorry, what do you need? No, no, Russell, Russell. I need you to help me have a kid. Right. So... S Susan needs your swimmers. Yeah, no, I, I got that. I didn't know you guys were both involved in this. Um, so why me? Why am I so special? Because you're good looking, smart. You don't live here. No complications. Don't you want to have a piece of yourself walking around in the world? Um, it's a, uh, it's a lovely offer, um, but um, I think I'm going to have to say no. Let's eat. Shall we, boys? Come on. Let's roll. Ten. Ten thousand dollars. It's not. It's not about the money, Ralph. Okay. It's Fifty thousand dollars. I get okay. a huge settlement. I, I, I... Uh, I just came over so I could see the book, okay? So just okay. show me the book and I'll go, okay? Okay, plenty of other fish in the sea. Fine. Just, I just need to see the book. How are you feeling, Russ? I'm fine. I just need to get you. Maybe something you ate didn't agree with you? No, I just... I just need to get you. Hey, well, let's go to the living room. Let's go to the living room.
I can't believe you. You're trying to tell me your father and his church, they're, they're killing people. Why not? I have no idea what my dad's been doing. Jonestown Massacre? Doesn't ring a bell? 1970s, cult from San Francisco, thinks it's gonna be a great idea. Let's go down to South America. Let's all go to heaven at once. They drink a batch of poison Kool-Aid. Hundreds of them like. Listen, I don't know what it is. I don't know, but it is not a memorial. I don't know what to think for what you're telling me. Just... It doesn't seem right at all. Well, your name's on the wall. Come on, let's go. Do you really need to do this? Yeah, I do need to do this. Well, do you want to take this? Jesus Christ, what the hell are you doing with this thing in your car? Everything's more fun with a gun, right? Are you Ross? fucking crazy? You have a daughter, man. Get this <laughs> thing away. I don't want to see this again. Just be here when I get out. Okay. If anybody comes, a honk. Listen, thank you. Just hurry up. Taking off though. Okay. See you later. Good luck.
Come in. Come in. Get in. Downstairs. We're waiting. What do you mean, what are you waiting for? Cthulhu. Oh, yeah? Is that right? Hey, listen. Uh, you know, I, uh, I know someone who knows you. You know that? Your, uh, your sister? I don't have a sister. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, she gave me your, uh, she gave me your picture. Julia Miles. Right? I can't. The mind's eye, the mind's eye goes away, too. That's right. That's right, listen. Oh. We gotta get out of here. Ugh. <laughs> 
What the hell happened to you? I waited for you, but a cop showed up. I looked around until about three in the morning. I came out and you were gone. You were gone. You said you'd be there and you were gone. I came back for you. Let's slow down. Okay. And what are you trying to tell me? I'm trying to tell you that the kids said they live underground. They, the giant salamanders. Yeah, the giant salamanders, but you weren't there. I'm telling you, they were huge. They were all over the place, Mike. I think you've... Yeah? I think you need to slow down. Oh, I'm crazy? Okay, well, when we go back there and find the camera that took the pictures of them, you'll believe me. How do you, how do you explain the fact that when I got out of the tunnel, I was at 11th and Main? That means that that You're tunnel... You're talking about the Shanghai tunnels, oh, right? Oh, right, all right, because that Chinese guy came and talked and to us in high school, saying. and you just believe every fucking piece of shit that you hear? We've both been down there. What about the names in the net shit, huh? What about the names in the I'm net sure shit? There's a, I'm sure that there's an explanation. Oh, what is that, UFOs? I need some, I need some, uh, jelly. Do you have any jelly? Russ, you've been up for, like, Do you have two, any fucking jelly? You've been up Do you have any jelly? Days. It's a very simple question. Do Why you have any you jelly? Why don't you just relax and stay here for a little bit and get some rest? You're a very bad host, man. You know, he's right. Dreaming in the open road, but afraid of today's dangerous world. Well, don't be with our new incredible... Hey, Mike, let me ask you a question. What? When was the last time you met someone who lives in Rivermouth, but who used to live somewhere else? I don't know. I don't pay attention. Well, you should start paying some attention. Everybody I've met in the past two days has been someone who I've known my whole life, right? So who, who are all these people driving around at midnight buying frozen yogurt? I don't know, Rod. How come they're, they're holding services out at the net shed all of a sudden? I think they're selling the church. Oh, are they? You know that for a fact? No. Exactly. So how do you explain the girl and her brother? I don't know. You need to call the sheriff or something. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna call the sheriff. That's a great idea. Hey, sheriff. Uh, yeah, it's Russell Marsh. I, I was, uh... I'm not gonna call the sheriff, Mike. Come on, Mike. Think about it. Why did you take me there last night if, if, if you weren't just a little bit curious? I wanted to help and, you know, that net shed and, and going there with you, it reminds me of a part of my life that made sense. Kids, they go into this, this wardrobe, and uh, they go into it, and when they step through, they come into this other 
that place. You know? and, and as they grow up, two of them, they fall in love and they become the king and the queen. And, you know, they have adventures and they spend their whole lives there. And um, they decide to go back. And when they do, they, they step right into where they left off. They're five years old, it's World War II, and, and their aunt, she's calling them to dinner. What just happened, you know, it, it feels a lot like that to me. You know, we've gone back to the, the net shed, you know. I mean, when we were kids and, and we fooled around, you know, to me it was always an extension of our friendship, Russ. And, you know, it still feels that way to me. It just, you know, it just was never a gay thing for me. You know, I don't, I don't want you to feel any pressure for me. I mean, I mean, I'd like to put some pressure on you, but... It's not like I can just, you know, change my life and be a gay guy, you know, I just... <laughs> well, yeah, there's, you know, the membership fees and <laughs> the test, so... Just saying, you know, it's right now, lying here, this is nice. Where are we going? Uh, well, let me get some breakfast and we'll go look for your blind boy. So you, you believe me now? Well, we'll see. You admire the change of attitude? Let me check my mail. Oh my Mr. Marsh, Jeffrey Brown of Brown and Barnes. Mr. Barnes couldn't make it today. He had a family emergency. No, that's not going to work. Mr. Barnes was specially appointed by my mother to handle this estate. Mr. Barnes is unreachable. This is Lauren Passerine. Lauren Passerine, Mr. Marsh, executor of the estate, son of the deceased. Miss Passerine would be crying today. They say an auctioneer cries a sale. I know the expression. The buyer of the house will take possession tomorrow at midnight. Fine. There's no escrow. You'll meet with our realtor tomorrow at 4. Fine. Shall we go inside? Love to. And now we'll do 5,000. 5,000, 5,000. Sold for $4,000 to number 42. <coughs> Lot 49 uh, is the historical property located at 821 Gable Street. 
Who will start the bidding at two hundred thousand dollars? Go two hundred thousand. Who will bid two hundred thousand? Two hundred thousand. I thank you. I have two hundred thousand. Take two and a quarter. Two fifty. Two fifty over there, and that would be two seventy-five. Two seventy-five. Two seventy-five here. Now three hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand. Three hundred there, and now we go three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. I have it. Three and a quarter. Three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half. Sold for three hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars, right there, number one seventy-three. Right, what's next? Hey. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. My name's Russell Marsh. Just per excuse me, sir. Hello. Hey, can you open up the window, please? Can you open up the window, please, sir? Hey, hey. Russell Marsh. You're under arrest for murder? Oh, come on. Rape of a minor? Oh, wait, you can't. Ben, Trespassing. Ben, don't do this. You have the right Brown, to remain silent. In, please. Anything you say Mr. will Brown, can and you can be Hold held against you in the court of law. You step in? If you need an attorney. Asshole! The and fuck are you people looking at? We will get one Oh, yeah, you like this? Faggot goes off to jail? You're selling your car. fucking kids for fucking prosperity? Hope it's fucking worth it! Really fucking worth it. You're a bunch of fucking stupid, fucking ignorant, fucking village fucking people. You're fucking a bunch of fucking idiots. Now I fucking keep watching. You're gonna fucking die. Oh, Russell Marsh. Guys like you never get sent to the chair. Do they? Rich, powerful family, like yours. Um, I'm not gonna say anything if I don't have a lawyer here. You want your call? I'll dial the number for you. I'll hold it to your ear. I'm a public servant. Now, who could you call that would possibly want to try and help you? Your family has been sucking the blood and sweat out of this town for a hundred years. You're an educated guy, Russ. What rough beast? It's our come round at last, slouches toward Bethlehem to be born. I'm your rough beast, Russ. I'm gonna bring down your whole family. What is this? I don't know. I don't know. I, w uh, I woke up. It was in my motel the day after my mother's funeral. The Miles boy didn't commit suicide. We know you killed him with this. All right, he took me down into the basement, OK? I was being chased, right? It went on for miles. Go there. Check it out yourself. You'll see. What did the boy tell you? He said they were waiting for something. Listen, Millie, I'm telling you, they were creatures. I don't know what they were. They were things, and they were everywhere. They were on the ground, they were on the ceiling, they were everywhere. We know what happened. It's not 1975. People know the world is coming apart because we let pieces of shit like you and their sleazy two lawyers open every door and window in the house. We're done with your kind. You're almost hidden in uh, colleges, public television stations, and soon you'll be gone. Well, I guess then you better get an eye full of me. I am. Uh, I just want to see what something like you looks like before I go home. Something you'll never do again. That was just... Curious. Into your pockets. Any prosthetic devices? Contact lenses? Yeah, but I, I can't see without my contacts. Doesn't matter. You're not going anywhere. Don't come home!
Change dress, blonde hair. Hey, this is Tuna Sally. Hi, Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Good. You want to tell me what happened? You don't remember? No. Well, you were sick. You were so sick. You were, you were ranting and then raving, and you, you flew out of the house, and I tried to stop you, but I couldn't. Really? Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. <gasps> stop lying. You tell me what the fuck is going on. You raped me. You have no idea. The whole world is yours, and you're just going to shit all over it. Can you fucking get it, Russ? They're all going to die without you. You tell me what the hell's going on. You tell me what the hell's going on right now. Mm. You know that you wanted me. You just want a minute. <laughs> hey, boy. Going to the festival tonight, Professor? No, I never really enjoyed the uh, May festival. I'm uh, just going to go to the auction of my mother's estate, and then I shall depart this veil of tears. You're going to die? No, no, just going home. This is your home, Professor. You're like a fresh wind that surrounds this town, like waking does a dream. You'll come see us again soon? I don't plan on it. <clears throat> what, uh, what time do you have? Quarter to five. I must be off. Oh, yeah. Nothing. Your money's no good here, thanks. Russell, I'm making this tape at the beginning of April. We just heard about your appointment. I am so proud. You were completely justified in removing yourself from this family. I'll tell you what I know. I won't pretend to understand it entirely. Every generation of Marsh men has died right around the time their grandsons were born, right around the 1st of May. That's always the first time you can smell the sea. It breaks my heart to have been so cold to my own child. But I wanted you away from him. When you were born, your grandfather died, they said. But he didn't die. I've seen him. He went back to where he came from. He went into the sea. thing you could ever imagine eternal life and in the hall of Cthulhu we shall dwell forever 
I trust we've managed to plumb an air out of you. I cared for your mother a great deal. But what's two years on a life, or ten, or even a hundred, when it's not going to last anyway? Our bodies will last a hundred thousand years in the sea. They drive and drive the highways we built, even though it's destroying their world. Great Hulu carries us. But they keep moving, searching. They look into his eye for it. All they have is the moment, and they can't bear it. They can't bear the loneliness of it. When the waters rise into their cities, everything shall be ours with you to lead us, my glorious son. Not a test. Violence is taking place in coastal areas. Residents of Seaside and Rivermouth counties are advised to remain inside with doors and windows locked until further notice or until law enforcement can reach them. Please be advised, this is not a test. I 
failed to appear on the floor of the Congress. Everyone is asking who is in charge of the world. Wait 15 minutes and then you go. All right? Megan, anyone comes out, I don't care who it is, you put a bullet in. Don't ask, just shoot. Would you like to see your children? your rightful place. Everything is yours. The old world is dying and we are giving birth to the new. Look, 
They come! Now, make sacrifice! Trust, what are you doing there? The man you loved! What greater gift? Russ, it's Mike! Do it, Russell! Make sacrifice! Russ! Look! Look into the red eye of your god! Russ, it's Mike! Russ! Russ! Cause I couldn't let go of a passing moment 